In this video, we'll take a look at the concept of displacement, or at least that's what we'll do in the future with some of these objects, but we're a little bit constrained by computer power at the moment. So let's just see what we have. Uh, let me move the scene out here a little bit. So what I have in the scene is we have ourselves a little slide now in here, and we'll go take a look at the slide a little bit up close, maybe like this. And so what we can do, or at least what we'll try and do, is we can use this as a, say, a future pool down in here that can contain, say, a certain amount of water, and we can calculate the gallons or liters from that. And then based on the number of oh, people or objects or whatever that we happen to be dropping down the slide, we can calculate how much is water is displaced based upon the known volume of objects that are dropping down the slide and fall into the pool and how many known objects get displaced and we can view, we'll use this, the basis of this as approximator objects in here with the known volume and we'll displace it with this. But let's just see if the thing, you know, if it actually works in the first place. So, um, let's try it with, let's see, let's, let's try it with a cube first. Somewhere there's a cube in the scene, I think. Oh, there's a cube. I'd raise it up a little bit. See if I, see if I can get it in here. That's pretty close. Oh, there's a cube in there. Let's see if I can add some cubes into the scene. Whoops, that's too far there. I'm going to drop them down. Well, that's getting some in there. Let's just load them in. We're losing a lot, but let's see what happens. In this case, they are cruising down the side, but I don't think you'd have much fun going down this slide. It's a little bit too slow. And that's obviously because we have friction effects and the the effects of, uh, you know, we're just sliding on a cube instead of rolling down there. So let's instead, let's try it with a different object. Okay, forget this one. Let's try the uh, tetrahedron. Uh, I know it's in here somewhere. I'll get it in here somewhere. There is the tetrahedron. There, I just happen to know it is. I can place it separately, too. I'll raise him up. Get up. All right. And let me see if I can get this one in here close. I'll let these uh, cubes get out of the way. That's why I'm trying to line this. Oops, that's too far. It's kind of a... You have to design the slide a little bit easier. It changes. Oh, I can see this is going to work already just by putting the one in there. All right, let's add some more. Let's see. So, well, they're not being perfectly placed, but I think you're going to get the idea. We'll just load some up. <laughs> and let's see. So, of course, if we could put just tens of thousands of these in here and this pool was made up of tens of thousands of approximator objects then they would actually displace those from the pool over that edge and we could actually calculate that but that's that actually looks like it'll work out pretty good but this uh, I'll have to constrain our pool size to a much smaller pool let's actually just load a bunch in here and just see what it see what it can handle just trying to give an idea before it starts bogging down. I can see it's already starting to bog down on me. So I would need quite a few more objects in the scene. Of course I could cut the slide down in height, which I might do. I could cut the pool down in size. And I could make bigger approximator objects. In fact, let's even... Uh, I want to see what this looks like with this. Let's try with that big old uh, pyramid. If I can find it. Where is that guy? I thought I'd put him into the scene. Oh, there it is. Alright, let me raise him up. See how this works. I'm going to let those other things clear out too. That's too far. If I get it in the inner circle there, it gets into the uh, center. And it just goes, oh, there's some right on the very top. Okay, and the other ones are starting to fade out, so we're going to have a little more processing power here in this section in a second. Let's see. Yeah, but maybe I just better try and put these in here one at a time, because otherwise it looks like they're going to just fall right off the edge. And they are anyway. 
let's see just how much of a difference these guys oh they're gaining looks like they're gaining a, too much velocity coming down here and falling off the edge it's either that or I don't have their oh no I don't have as much lifetime on the single ones so let me put these big ones in here I'll blast them in anyway and see what happens just of course we're not getting near as many as I want but let's just see what happens with the ones that go down See that makes oh too much velocity. Well, you wouldn't want to be that person going off that slide. I guess that's a poor slide design, huh? Okay, well that's it for this particular video, and I'll see you in the next video.